It takes 45 steps to make this high-end ice skate. The skate boot is made of a synthetic material that looks and feels like leather. Once they've cut the pieces that will make up the boot, they shave the edges, thinning them out so the boot won't be bulky, especially where there's an overlap at the seams. They position a reinforcement piece onto what's called the quarter, the main structural piece that will form the sides and back of the skate boot. They glue it on with a hot press. The boot pieces now go to the sewing department. They stitch together the tongue piece. Then, using a sturdy zigzag stitch, attach the quarter and the heel piece. They spray glue on the quarter and on the ankle support. Then stick on a foam ankle pad, designed to mould to the contours of the skater's ankles. Next comes the lining. They must centre it perfectly for the skate to be properly aligned and balanced. The eyelet machine works like a hole punch, punching out eyelets in the quarter. Each eyelet is reinforced with an aluminium washer. The last step in the sewing department is called forming. The boot is placed over a metal foot form and a hot press laminates the boot to give the back and sides of the quarter their shape. In the assembly department, the parts are put together using a foot form. A white plastic insole is attached, as is a black plastic toe cap. They brush on a layer of glue. the boot. The bottom of the boot is sanded to roughen up the surface for better adhesion. An automated machine applies a layer of glue along the contour of the boot's underside. In the assembly department, the parts are put together, again using a foot form. The boot then goes through a heat machine for a couple of seconds to evaporate the solvent in the glue, making it tacky. As with the lining, they must position the sole perfectly or it'll throw the skate off balance. An eight-ton press applies pressure onto the boot. The sole is made of a strong carbon composite. Once the glue is dry, two holes are drilled through the sole for attaching the blade. The blade sits in a plastic holder. They screw it in place, then secure it with five steel rivets and four more resistant copper rivets. Like the lining and the sole, the blade's alignment is crucial. Roller skates are made almost the same way as ice hockey skates. However, instead of a blade, an aluminium chassis with rollers is attached. In the finishing department, the inside of the skate is inspected, checking the blade and rivets in particular. The blade holes are plugged. Then they lace up the first three sets of eyelets. The footbed is fitted. Last but not least, they clean the skate, removing any glue residue. What they can't do is keep you from falling slap-bang on your reef.